Welcome to Box City. We are gonna build an entire city out of bits of cardboard. It's gonna be fun, it's simple and easy, and we can play with it. In this episode, we will make a complete park with a zoo full of animals. It's gonna be fun and easy. <laughs> Everybody, let's have a look at our city so far. We have the city background, we have the four city districts, and we have the city theater in the center. We have also established a shopping street with the pet shop and the ice cream store. But where do you take your new schnauzer and four scoops of ice cream after you bought them? To the park, of course. And what's the coolest thing you can find in a park? The zoo! I just love animals! <laughs> the zoo is just a simple little box like this. Check the first episode if you like to see how I made it. Then we uh, draw a few lines down like this and make a few little cuts like this, slim cuts on a few different places. Into these cuts, we can put little pieces of cardboard. And if you draw animals on them, it starts to look like a zoo. All we have to do is to draw a few of our favorite animals, paint them and cut them out. I sketch, I draw, I paint, and cut it out. <laughs> Just make sure that your animals fit the sizes of your slits. Because when you fit them all in, they need to look good together in a composition. Different size, different shape, different color. Notice that I have put the biggest one at the back and then smaller and smaller and smaller. That way they don't cover each other up. Whoa, by the way, have you remembered to click the bell yet? If not, please click the bell wherever it is. Hunt it down, click it so you don't miss any updates. Another cool thing we can do is to add a removable background from a piece of cardboard. All we need is two strips of cardboard, one broader, one smaller, little bit of glue on this side, put the slim one on top of the thicker one, wait until it dries for a second, add a bit more glue on top of the slim one again, then we bring in our zoo, stick this on around here, and we have a nice hinge to attach our background, like this. I also think we should decorate one side with safari patterns. Safari stripes are very easy. Just look at any zebra and you'll get it. And here's the logo, what do you think? It fits right here in the little slit that I made earlier. Oh, I almost forgot, we need a zookeeper. I got her here. <laughs> Another cool little thing to make is a mini botanical garden. I have made one here from the corner of a biscuit box. If we put in hinges on the sides here and here, we can add the trees of our choice. I made some trees from cardboard, painted it, let's stick it in. Nice, let me add some uh, leaves on the trees. And 
some grassy texture with these pencils. Grassy grass, grass, yeah, grassy, 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 yeah. And these markers. Then we can add a little lake with water lilies right here and some extra cute little trees. What else can we add to our park? A bridge? A sports arena? A farm? Why don't you go nuts and come up with all kinds of wild things that we can put into our park? In the next episode, we will make the office district, complete with an office tower and coffee shop. Fun and easy. In this series, we are not giving up until we have built the whole city. Complete with houses, people, pets, vehicles, bicycles, and all kinds of crazy things happening. So people, stay tuned and click the bell so you don't miss out of any important updates.